Hi friends, I'm Miss Herring. I'm a teacher librarian in the Mount Diablo Unified School District. And today I'm gonna to be reading you a book called Accept Antarctica by Todd Sturgill. So maybe you can tell by the title what is going to be happening in this book. I don't know, Accept Antarctica, what about Antarctica? Let's see. Okay, so this is a turtle. Um, hello there. Turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hmm, we'll see about that. They are cold blooded and cannot survive in cold, harsh. Hey, where are you going? Antarctica. Interesting. So this turtle here is hearing a narrator telling a story about him. And he realizes that the narrator tells him that turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. And for that turtle, it seemed like a challenge for him, right? He wants to go and be the first turtle on Antarctica. So let's see how this story progresses. I think that the narrator might get a little frustrated. What do you think? You can't go to Antarctica. Get back to your page this instant. Let's forget the turtle and move on. Oh, look, here's an owl. Owls are found on every continent except Antarctica. Uh-oh, what do you think that owl's gonna say? Let's see what the owl thinks of that. Hello there, owl. This is a book of animal facts. Here's a fact. Owls don't like to be disturbed by animal facts. Owls rarely pay attention to turtles. Want to come to Antarctica? Why, yes. Since I'm already awake, I'll join you. Now, we can see that this is in the daytime, right? And I think that most of us know something special about owls. And that is that they're nocturnal, right? They sleep during the day and they're awake at night. So now this owl is like, well, I've already been awoken by this turtle, so I might as well join you. So let's see what happens next. Those two will never make it. On to the next animal fact. Dung beetles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hey, wait, where is the dung beetle? He's with us. Uh-oh, the dung beetle got looped in too. Let's see. Why would a dung beetle travel to Antarctica with a turtle and an owl? Two words, penguin poo. Oh, that dung beetle. So they like to roll up other animals' feces. And if you've ever played Animal Crossing, you might've seen the dung beetles at the holiday time, right? This book is not going as planned. Uh-oh, the narrator's getting frustrated just like I thought he would. Here we have a snake a mouse, and a bee. Guess what? They're found on every continent except Antarctica, and it will stay that way. Snakes are known to break the rules. We mice are natural explorers. You can't stop me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh-oh. All these animals that don't live on Antar or Antarctica are now going to Antarctica. That's going to be difficult. If you don't know where Antarctica is, it is in the South Pole. It's very, 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 very cold. There's lots of penguins and other Arctic animals. 
frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica. This one won't be distracted by a wandering group of rogue animals. Ignore them, frog. Whoa, look, new friends. Uh-oh, the frog got looped in too. A turtle, an owl, a dung beetle, snake, mouse, bee, and frog would never travel to Antarctica on an expedition to a frozen continent. And they certainly couldn't cross an ocean to get there. No boat, no Antarctica. Now, can we please get back to normal? And here's that turtle again. He is the fearless leader. He says, I've got this. And just take a minute to look at the beautiful art here. See how dark it is? We're above the ocean. This is a big cliff that all the animals are standing on. And see, even the ocean here, the artist made these white caps on each of the waves to make it look like that water is really rough and scary, right? That's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this picture. We have the turtle on his back. He is holding the snake on his belly and the mouse is in the snake and the owl is on top of the snake and the frog is on top of the owl and the dung beetle is on top of the frog and the dung is on top of the dung beetle and then you know the bee decided to make it easier for everyone and so the bee just flew alongside what a nice thing to do that little bee and of course the narrator is frustrated and he says this is ridiculous uh-oh, let's see if they make it. What do you think? Pay no attention to these scoundrels. Turtles, owls, dung beetles, snake, mice, bees, and frogs are still found on every continent except Antarctica. We made it! Look at them all. They're so happy they made it to their final destination. And look... Like I said before, we've got some penguins. And they say, Look at those strange penguins. Hmm. I guess if you're a penguin and you've only ever seen penguins, you would think that everybody else is a penguin. But look, they're all different, right? Let's see what happens next. I bet they're really cold. And the narrator says, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was in Antarctica. Negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 89.2 degrees Celsius to be exact. Now where I live, it gets very, very hot in the summer. Um, it can get up to like 115 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's positive. Imagine going all the way in the reverse to negative 128.6. I think you're gonna need a lot more than mittens for that. And let's see what the animals think about it. It's a bit c -c -c colder than I expected. That frog is cold. There's nothing but ice, snow, and rock. Mm -hmm. The birds swim here. I can't swim. My dung is frozen. Look at that dung beetle. He brought his dung all the way to Antarctica and then it just got frozen over. And look at all the animals. They are so cold. They did not think this through. Animals not accustomed to the howling wind and bitter cold air will find Antarctica unbearable. Unbearable means that they cannot stand it. Maybe you find broccoli unbearable. Let's go home. Ha! Huh. Like I said, the Antarctic climate is too extreme for these animals. You, I'm glad that's over. As long as we're here, let's talk about emperor penguins. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so silly. I read that in a penguin voice, but it's supposed to be the narrator voice. Let me try it again. 
Phew, I'm glad that's over. As long as we're here, let's talk about emperor penguins. There, that's better, right? Okay, let's see. Let's find out something about emperor penguins. We know they live on Antarctica, right? Emperor penguins are found only in Antarctica. Oh, really? Oh, no, not again. Wait for me! Oh, there he goes. That penguin is out to sea. At least he's bringing a briefcase. Although it's going to be a lot warmer than what he's used to, right? So that's the end. The animals made it to Antarctica, but then they realized that narrator was right. It is way too cold for us. So what did you think of that book? Do you think you want to travel to Antarctica? Do you think you could handle that icy, icy cold? Maybe you like ice cream or snow cones or popsicles or let's see, what else comes out of a freezer? Can you tell me something else that comes out of a freezer? Ice cubes. I like ice cubes in my drinks. All right. Well, that is the story for today. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm Miss Herring. I'm a teacher librarian in Mount Diablo Unified School District, and I will be happy to read to you again soon.